Okay, it says approximate uh, 2.1 to the fifth. Uh, use your calculator to find the accuracy of this approximation is uh, the linearization overestimate or underestimate and explain. Okay, so uh, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to use x to the fifth uh, and we're going to have it be around 2 to the fifth because uh, 2.01 is very, very, very close. I mean, that just seems like a logical thing to do. All right, so and I'll write all that out. So if we let... Uh, if f of x equals x to the fifth uh, estimate uh, f of 2.01 given that 2 to the 5th is 32. All right, now I have it graphed over here. Here's x to the 5th graphed. And so as far as the estimate, whether it's an overestimate or underestimate, well, it's concave up. All right, and we'll be able to talk more about this later when we get back from, uh, from Christmas break. Uh, but uh, being that it's concave up, any uh, tangent line on this side, when I'm greater than 0, is going to be underneath the curve, and so therefore an underestimate. All right, so, but we'll, we'll talk more about that later. So, but that will be our uh, rationale. All right, so here we go then. Uh, so I know then that f of 2.01 would be very close to the, the linear equation. That starts at 32, all right, and has a slope. Well, that's 5x to the fourth, right? So it would be 5 times 2 to the fourth as that slope multiplied by the difference in our x's, which is going to be 2 minus 2.01. And that is uh, backwards. Let's get all the racer here. I need the 2.01 uh, to be right there. Okay. All right, here we go. So 2.01 minus 2. Okay, and so, I mean, sure, it says we could use a calculator, so I will. And so, go out here, we'll have 32, 2 to the 5th, plus 5 times 2 to the 4th, and then multiplied by 0 0.01. There, at 32.8. So this is going to be 32.8. We've already discussed that that is a underestimate, all right? And I want to go ahead and say that now, and then we'll show that it's an underestimate because it does it does find uh, uh, the accuracy of use your calculator to find the accuracy of this approximation. Okay, so uh, let's get a little text box. Oops, text box here. Okay, since f of x. It's concave up for all values greater than zero. Any tangent line approximation will be an underestimate. That's true. All right. And so uh, you don't have to say anything else but that. And then now let's actually find the error. So, and they like to call that E of X. 
Okay, so the error will be the absolute value tangent All that for that. Okay. All right. So this will be the absolute value of. Two point zero one to the fifth, whatever that is. We'll punch in the calculator in just a second. Minus this thirty two point eight that we just found. Okay, so let's go over here. And it's just gonna be the absolute value of that, that so I just make it positive if it's negative. <clears throat> And we said that the uh, approximation was an underestimate, so it shouldn't be. Oops. Minus 32.8. Oh, my goodness. All right, so it is 0 0.00804, we'll say. Okay, and then we can say then that uh, the absolute va value of the error is the error is less than, and we can go the number of zeros here, uh, 10 to the negative 2. Because nothing changes until you get to the third decimal place, and that's a very small amount, which is going to be less than a hundredth, right? It's, you know, it's, it's, it's eight one thousandth off, which is less than a hundredth. That's what that's saying. Okay.